record in my butt? Yep. Up, brotherhood of Ram Fam. So today we're just doing a quick little driving video, kind of show you what it's like as a third person point of view. Um, uh, Mom is redoing the recording of this, so thank you, Mom. Welcome. Say hi. <laughs> uh, so we just did the tow mirrors yesterday. Dad helped me with that. They were pretty quick, simple process. Took about 30, 45 minutes. Um, the hardest part was after we got the door panel off, we had to figure out because there's a bracket that mounts inside here. And you might be able get over here. There's a you might be able to see the little black that's coming right about here. That's part of the bracket system that bolts the uh, mirror onto it. Um, everything works on it. I still have my powered and heated. Those are the ones I needed. I needed heated and powered. Um, one thing that is wrong with this mirror, and this is the only mirror that's screwed up on it. Um, when you fold it out, that's uh, for the all the fallen six O's. So normally they go to about here-ish. This one folds out to there. So we're gonna contact the company via Amazon and see what actually we can do. Maybe they can send us just a new left one, hopefully, and redo this one. But for now. It's going to be staying down. I'm not towing nothing with it. There's no point in me having them out and folded out. That's only in case I'm doing videos or we're doing, you know, a show or whatever, which I don't do many shows. But uh, I mainly got them because these are way bigger than my old ones, which you guys saw in the previous video. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to jump in the truck here, and we're just going to run it up the road and uh, go from there. She's just going to keep recording it because we tried this once already, and for some reason my phone is an idiot and didn't save the video. So we're just gonna hope for the best and see what happens. So if you guys have, you probably, well, and if you're subscribed and whatnot, um, you'll have seen the previous video where I uh, did the daily driving of this truck and I had the camera mounted basically right on my console right here and you guys got to see that. Uh, that video guy actually got a lot of views just in, just in general. You guys kind of like that. I do plan on doing one with the third gen Cummins and getting it with the fourth gen. And she can also, uh, what's the word there? like voice her opinion on my truck does ride rough because she's used to her uh, fourth gen with comfortable independent front suspension and I'm over here with a solid front axle that rides like a dump truck. Yeah, it's a bit bumpy. Yeah. Howdy neighbor. Oh, is that day and stuff? I think so. Yep. So the tow mirrors, guys, they do work really good. They uh, they work really nice. I have great visibility coming out of them. I'm just scooching up here so I can see past the telephone pole. Because, you know, they decided to put a telephone pole and a bunch of poles and signs right at the corner of the street where, you know, you need to see. Good job, guys. Um, but, yeah, guys, we do have some big plans for the channel. Um... The plan that I talked about in the last video there where I was unboxing the mirrors, we're not going to go through with that. Um, I'm just going to still go down and, you know, see the truck and whatnot, but we're not going to go through and get the, the big rig um, just because of me graduating this year and going to college and all that fun stuff. So that'll be fun. But I do plan on saving my money, guys, and getting a uh, kind of like a hoopy, kind of like a first gen hoopy, kind of like what uh, Loud, Loud and Proud did on that video there, where you got the first gen. Just something cheap that I can take my time on, fix up, put some money into. But 
This road's kind of smooth because they redid it. It used to be actually really rough, but you guys still can get an idea of how it, this truck drives. Po -po. New York bubblegum machine in a Mopar. But this Monday and Thursday, guys, I do have to go uh, on the highway that is near me. I don't know how far away it is, but that one will be, that'll be interesting because I haven't taken this truck on the highway very much. I think we took it, what, once when we got, went to go get it inspected and that was it. Is that right? I don't remember. But, uh... Yeah, we, yep, you're right, we did. Yeah, because we took it, to, we went through the one town that we go to and that connects up to the highway, so we took the highway to where we go get them inspected. We got this truck inspected, and uh, it, it drove pretty good. I mean, it cruises right at 65, 70, no problem. It's not very loud. I know you guys couldn't really tell how loud the truck was with my old phone because the, the way my phone picked it up, it just was really muffled. It sounded really bad. My new phone now, it sounds way better. The quality is way better and whatnot. Um, I haven't had any problems with it, you know, cruising down the highway. And I, when I did cruise on the highway, I, it works really good. Here's the jake brake. I call this truck, I, I tell people that this truck has a jake brake, and some of them believe me. Uh, my gearing is 392s, and when I slow down between 60 and 50, the gears slow itself down, so it goes I flick the overdrive off, it downshifts and it goes brrrr. So it sounds really cool. Definitely wakes the squirrel, squirrels up, which is always a plus. So hopefully, you guys can hear that pretty good. Grab the oh shit handle. <sighs> drive like a crazy man. Drive like that crazy. Oh. But if you guys were curious at what, as to what axles I have, I have a Dana 44 in the front, and it is a Dodge nine and a quarter. It's basically like a Ford nine inch, just a little bit bigger. And um, when we do the video with the Cummins, when the Cummins and whatnot, I will uh, talk about the axles. That has a Dana 60 and an American axle manufacturer. It's like a Dana 80 on steroids. Well, not on steroids, but like it's tough. Land over? Um, I don't know. Possibly. The truck shift good too, guys. I know you guys are always curious as to, you know, how the truck's been doing and whatnot. I know for a while there I was getting some comments when I wasn't doing videos as much. Um, people were asking me, hey, is your truck okay and whatnot. Yeah, the truck's doing fine, guys. It's running strong, running good. Just, it doesn't like big hills. 189,000 and some odd miles, it's definitely not going to like hills. The beast is tired. Yeah. But, plans for the truck. Um, over the summer, I'm going to be putting, I, I did get a second job, guys. I'm going to be putting money towards it in terms of fenders, doors. <clears throat> College. That college too. <laughs> um, but yeah, fenders, doors, because you guys saw my left fender there. It's, it's pretty rough. It's got some rust going on there. Um, I'd like to get the truck back into like mint condition, I guess you could say. And uh, make it clean, clean it up, I guess. And then eventually maybe do a new motor. Put a 6.4 ME in it and a 6 speed. That would be fun. But no, I'm not going to do that. I know a lot of you guys are actually wanting me to do a common swap, which it would be fun, like a 4PT, but I'm, yeah, it's money, plus with that, if I was to do a common swap, I would have to go with a 6PT, either a 12 or 24 valve, or a common rail injection, probably it would be a, a later model 24 valve, um, 
but with that, I'd have to beef the front suspension up, beef, you know, basically the, take the whole front end and put three-quarter ton stuff into it, three-quarter ton axle, three-quarter ton leaf springs. Um, let's see what else. I've thought about doing an extra leaf in the rear. Yeah, the air bubble gum machine. Um, that would just beef it up a little bit. But I would have to do all new front end parts. Basically take a second gen three quarter ton, swap it out, put it in this one. And that's a lot of time, a lot of money. That's thousands of dollars, guys, that I kind of actually don't have. But uh, it'd be a fun project for you guys to check out. Definitely boost the channel up and guys uh, don't forget to like subscribe comment definitely when you hit the subscribe button hit the bell for notifications make sure you stay up to date with everything on the channel um, we hit 434 subscribers I do believe and uh, we're definitely on our way to 500 so uh, stay in tune guys because we have some big plans for the channel and uh, yeah I will catch you guys in the next video Brotherhood of Ram out